Hi, it's me again. Today I'm going to teach you how to use an H5P content named Accordion. Let's try to make it and insert it to one of the courses we have here. I hope you can use this in your courses as well. Let's begin. First, when you are in the course you are trying to make, you're going to have to turn the editing on. After that, go to the section where you want to put the particular H5P activity. In this case, you will be making accordion. Click Add an activity or resource. Choose Activities, then go to H5P. When you click H5P, you will be directed to this page. Before you can edit the content type accordion, you will first have to fill in all the necessary details for this activity. Of course, display description on course page is optional. H5P options depends on what kind of settings would you like to have. The grade, since accordion is presentation of course notes, you won't have to put any grades on it. Well, at least for me. Attempt options is not also useful in this type of content. So no. Common module settings. Mm, for now, I will not set this, but if you are trying to group this type of content, let's say three groups will have to see different types of accordion, then you may choose that. Restrict access. I'm not very particular with this type of resource. Activity completion. I will have to choose show activity as complete when conditions are met because I'm that type of teacher. <laughs> I want it to be somehow strict in a way that students will try to follow the designated deadline. So let's have three days until 8 a.m. Tags, competencies, we are going to discuss that in a separate video. Once you are done configuring all the settings we have here, it's time for you to go back up and click opens a new window. When you click on that, you will be directed to the content bank where you can find the H5P editor. Click on add, choose accordion, this is what the accordion editor looks like. Looks pretty straightforward. So let's put a title to it. Hmm. For this accordion sample, I will be using bacteria. Let's set this to full screen. I want the title to be Hmm. Okay, it's all about bacteria once again, and the title is all about Bacteria 101. Okay, I may have to change this to something different, so I'm going to go back to the note I have created. I'll be right back.
Okay, let me change the title to A Closer Look Helpful Bacteria. All right. Oh, I think I should put it right here. And the first one I'm going to have to put is this one. Pediococcus. It is used in production of fermented meat. Okay, let me try this one out. Oops. Okay. So it is used in production of fermented meat. Okay, well, let's add another panel. And the next type of bacterium I'm going to add is it's Lactobacillus casei. I'm not sure if I'm saying it correctly, but you got the idea. Okay, and then let's add another one. Okay, let's make it three at least. And the third bacteria I'm going to input is, is this one. Okay, let me just edit the course notes I got from the PowerPoint presentation about bacteria. Okay, and let's just try to copy some information from the other one. So I am all done with this. Let's see what it looks like. All right, once you have done all the things that should be in the boxes, then you're going to have to save it. Let's click on save. Let's see what it looks like. All right. There you go. Oh, I think I'm going to have to edit that. So instead of a closer look helpful bacteria, I'm going to switch some information. Let's click on edit. Okay, let's try to switch these two information. Okay. And another. And the third one is this one. Okay. There we go. And yeah, I think I'm all good. Let's try to save it and see what happens. All right, I got the information I need. So if this is the one you were looking for and trying to organize your course notes, then feel free to use it. Now you know how to use accordion in your courses. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.